Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Juniper SRX on virtual environment. So here you go. So first I just want to show you one file from Juniper. So you can go to juniper.net and then go to support and then download and you can download uh, SRX file from their website. So you can see uh, it's already have there like Hyper-V, KVM, VMware appliance. I already downloaded for VMware. It's a OVA format, version 17.3 and release date 25 August 2017. So you can download from their website and then you can start installing on virtual environment. So here we go. So I'm going to deploy on VMware ASXi. I already have that file as you can see. I downloaded both files so I'm going to use the IDE one and do next. You can see it's uh, having Juno 17.3 version and from Juniper Networks. And the good thing you can use this file for two months it's a free for lab or do you can test is it good for your organization or company or not and then after that you have to purchase license because it will not work after two months and do next and then you can read the agreement all that stuff from juniper and do accept and do next and then i can give any name as a juniper test and do next and then I can select any data store where I want to install and then I have my one NIC card so I can do next and then power on after the deployment it will take to deploy 5 to 10 minutes so it, you can see it's deploying and it started it's showing one person and you will see the time here you go you, you can see it's 4 minutes and 28 seconds so I'm going to pause the video for now and then I will continue once it's finished the deployment so as you can see now it's already completed it's showing 99 percent so the deployment to OVF file is completed so let's go to console and see here you see it's installing the Junos so I'm not going to pause the video so you can see all the steps it's very easy but I just want to make sure you can see all steps one by one
we have to be patient while installing VirtualSRX on VMware or in any other environment usually take time because it has a lot of files it has to extract then install in the back end so, so be patient don't restart the installation to wonder why it's not installing so it's gonna take easily 15 to 30 minutes and it's all depend on the machine where you're installing which kind of hardware you're using but it's still good to learn Junos like otherwise it's so hard like Cisco we can use packet tracer GNS3 for Juno it's so hard to run on packet like GNS3 it's working but it's so hard here you can do all testing without any money and it's good to learn So you can see it's showing warning activating factory configuration so now it will load the factory default configuration like we have a basic stuff like zones and maybe password username and this kind of stuff I will show you once it's installed which kind of factory configuration we're going to get by default and then we will delete that configuration and then we can see the basic stuff on Junos So here we can see we're getting a window to login so by default the login we can use the root and then there's no password for the first time when you sign into Juno's any device so I just press enter after and uh, login putting root username so you can see I have a Juno 17.3 R1.10 build with the date 23 August 2017 and we can just press enter to see so we can do CLI can see so you can see it's already showing the default configuration in Junos in the Junos the best thing I like their hierarchy is very nice as compared to Cisco you can see all it's a default configuration uh, I can delete this configuration and we can see uh, we can delete like uh, yes I want to delete everything and then if I try to commit and compare sorry commit let's see commit Oh, we can't commit empty configuration yes so we have to set set system root plain text password I just tell put some password you can give any password then retype the same password and now if I do show compare you can see it's all the minus 
negative sign showing it's going to delete so now I can commit so I deleted everything which came with the box we can say and now after committing this configuration you will see usually in Juno's com uh, any commit changes usually take 10-15 seconds because it has a lot of stuff in the background rule back a uh, lot of stuff in Juno's configuration so once it's completed I will show you now our current configuration Yes, so you can see commit complete. Yes, so I can go back and show configuration. So you can see I have just like last commit and then the version, then system, just the root authentication which we already run that, right? So that's a command which we run, just right, set system root. So here that's very much. And if you like my videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks guys for watching.